Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley for tuning in for the first time, and today we're going with the bob. So this one comes courtesy of my first wig, and she is a 12-inch angle bob. I love the fact that this one came with a beautiful cut. It's a yaki texture, so it mimics a wrap or just a natural style for the black girl. And I love, love, love the way it came out. Now, for me, you guys already know I am a mom of three. My oldest is seven, middle child is five, and then my youngest is three. This gives me three different things going on every single day. So my son has to be at school at a certain time. My daughter has to be at school a certain time. My youngest is still at home with me. My middle child, my daughter, who has to be at school at another time, also gets out earlier than my oldest. So as you guys can see, like it's literally carpool all day, every day. Not to mention the extracurricular activities, gymnastics, cheer, basketball, swim lessons, tennis lessons. We're trying to add a couple more things on there. So I need something that I can just literally pop on my head and go. And this here is an amazing option. Now I did bond it down a little bit, but I do want you guys to see that even though I bonded it down with a non-glue adhesive, it's easy to remove that. And then this one is still going to fit on the hairline, super flat and flush because she is a glueless fit. So if you're a mom like me or just a busy boss babe in general, I highly recommend this cut, this beautiful bob to you. If you want to see how I installed it, keep on watching. And also if you want to purchase or just get some more information, a direct link to this wig is in the description box. Now let's jump right into it. Okay ladies, so let's jump right into it. I'm working with my first wigs on this one. Stay tuned for all the packaging and you know, all the details on what came inside the box. This is the wig itself. I'm trying a little bit of new editing so bear with me as i perfect it this one here is a 12 inch yaki bob it has a nice beautiful construction of the cap as you guys can see the knots are bleached the lace is tinted perfectly i believe it's a light brown but of course check the description box for all the details this one did include a adjustable elastic band inside this makes for an extra snug Fit, and it does have a beautiful angled cut to it here is what the wig looks like from the back it's not too blunt at the ends it's layered perfect enough that it looks like a salon cut opposed to a kitchen cut which is key I believe this one is six inches of parting going back and it's 13 inches of lace going across. So I'm going to cut off all of the excess lace so that the wig fits my head like a glove. I love the fact that you can pretty much customize this one how you want. And I love the fact that I was able to also wear it glueless, which is phenomenal. So here, as I mentioned, I'm cutting off the lace around the ear. You can see how it now fits my head perfectly. If your head is bigger than mine, then you may not have to cut anything extra off. It is a one size fits all, so that works out perfect. Now I'm going to cut off the excess lace. And as you guys can see, this lace matches just almost perfectly. They did include a product that I'm going to show in just a moment that's going to melt the lace and have everything looking perfect. Now let's go ahead and use the edge control from bdeckbeauty.com. I love this product to go ahead and protect and style my own edges. They were looking a little bit scraggly, so I like to push them back and let them be super smooth and sleek behind my ear. That way they won't get caught up when I adhere the wig. I'm showing you here that the wig fits glueless. You can add a little bit of powder to the lace as I'm doing here. And as you guys can see, after this step, you are pretty much done. You don't have to bond it down. It goes seamless. You guys can see one side that's done and the other side that's not that you pretty much can wear it glueless if it's flat it doesn't buckle it's not loose at all i did add a very thin coat of the extra hold hairspray to the hairline and i did blow dry on a cool setting i really just wanted the lace to melt super good into the hairline because i did wear this one for a couple days over the weekend and i just wanted to make sure it was bonded here is what it looks like when it's bonded down and as you guys can see i was super impressed all i did was those two steps you've seen and everything looks amazing i did not have to do anything that was not beginner friendly here's a look at what was included inside of the package you got your rat tail comb your dolphin clips you also got your edge tamer and then this product that's called a wig not healer 
this is the edge tamer and as you guys can see you get a little bit of a cast when you put it on and it just pretty much melts smoothly so that you don't leave it doesn't leave a cast at all everything is smooth and it's pretty much a wax stick and you guys see here, I'm applying it generously to the hairline as well as the parting. I brushed it in off camera. Now I'm going in with my bling hot comb from bedeckbeauty.com and just melting that in beautifully so that the wig fits super flat and flush on my head. You can see it also gives a subtle sheen. It's weightless so it doesn't weigh the wig down at all in my opinion. It just makes it look super nice, cancels out any frizz and makes it super flat. Now I'm going in with my Babyliss hot comb and I'm just going ahead and bumping the ends. The wig came already straight but you guys know you want to just give it a nice fresh bump at the ends to really really set off that cut. I think it's always best when you do stuff like this on a wig head. You'll get the best um, style or finished results. But you guys know, you can do this on your head. And I just use the rack comb to chase. And that just makes it even more straight. Here's a before and after from one side to the other. Don't forget to work on the back as well. Again, this is the part that sometimes is a little bit more difficult. Because you're just winging it and you really don't know what it looks like. But as you guys can see, it did come out flawless. I didn't add a heat protectant but i highly recommend one the cut is perfect the angle is perfect i could do this at home and it definitely would not come out this perfect 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 i am in love and even with the product that you guys seen i used from my first wig i was very generous and the wig still has all of the movement and body it didn't weigh the hair down at all Next, I'm going to take another product they provided. I believe this is called a wig knot healer or a knot healer. I'll have it linked in the description box with the wig as well. And this worked perfect to make the wig look perfectly perfectly blended with my complexion along the parting i should have used it along the hairline as well but i forgot but you guys can see this is a flawless product and the hair is having a smile on my face i am in love and you guys know my husband loves me in a bob so i was just ready to go out with him so that he can just tell me how good i looked love it love it okay love bucks as i mentioned before stiff wear I'm going to always say that when I come through with a bob, especially a bob from my first wig because they definitely know what they're doing. Now this one here is an angled yakky bob and as you guys can see from the back to the front it has like literally the most perfect angled cut. I definitely don't feel like I would be able to get my cut this perfect even with like the hair clippers. So that's one thing I love about my first wig is that they have options of literally any type of wig you can think of. Um, they probably sell a version of it and the idea or the style is done for you. And I love the fact that they do include a information card in your um, package so that you can pretty much know exactly what you have. Um, so this one here is a Yaki 12 inch natural color bob wig. It is um, a size one cap. The cap construction is 13 by 6 lace front wig. The density is 160% density and then the lace color is light brown. So today I did use something that was included in the package. Now this one is called the Wig Knot Healer and it's pretty much a product that makes for no bleaching. So for example, if the knots were not bleached on this one, which they are, you will be able to use this and cover up those knots and those grids. It's like a really nice twist up and down stick it's a nice brown color so it's a pretty good match for my complexion i did use it over top the powder that i used earlier in the video and i do think it works good for me um it worked even best in the parting you can go in and blend this out or if you want to just make the parting a little bit more jagged by tweezing it i think it looks fine and perfect it'll dole out you know over time but again if you feel like this is too perfect there is always an option to customize it and that's the beauty in wigs so i'm going to go ahead and let you guys go if you have any questions leave them in the description box and i'll be sure to get back to you also make sure you are subscribed you like this video and share it with your friends again if you are a mommy like me or just someone who is busy from start of the day to the end of the night this is a perfect option and it's going to look so good over the holidays so don't forget to check her out as well thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches